they think they could just go to Stripe or something like that and set up a merchant account. And when they do that, they find out that, they, that they've been declined. They're like, oh, now what? I didn't even think that this was going to happen. I thought this was going to be easy. Well, let me do PayPal. And then they find out that PayPal is not going to be able to do that. So then I'm like, well, where do I go? From MJ Bulls Media, it's the Raising Cannabis Capital Show. Today on the Cannabis Investor Spotlight Series, we're joined by Edward Corona from the FinTech Group. Ed, thanks for being on the MJ Bulls Podcast. You bet. Glad to be here. Yeah, I've been reading through your website, and you created this payment process platform, and it sort of just fell into place when regulations changed in 2012, and you're perfectly positioned for helping companies with their crowdfunding. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. When the Jobs Act came out in 2012, we really carved out uh, quite a niche for ourselves uh, within that industry with our platform. So for our listeners, really the next step after the friends and family round, a lot of people go right to seed round, but there's a, there's a step in between that really could be probably as, as beneficial and as easy to do as, as, as anything, and that is crowdfunding. So maybe you can talk to us a little bit about this about this phase and how your company provides a solution for this phase. Yeah, sure. What my company does is what a lot of these issuers are doing uh, when they set up an offering, uh, and the whole reason behind uh, behind crowdfunding is to go directly to the crowd or directly to the investor. With the offerings that are uh, that are available right now, you are able to do advertising and reach out to those investors without violating any type of FINRA regulations. So that puts the issuers in a very good position to reach out directly to the crowd and advertise their offering. When the investor goes to their website or where, wherever they direct them, and they want to invest into that company, what our platform does is it allows that investor to easily, at the time that they're viewing the investment, to send the funds over and invest in the company. We do everything in real time. So we have an invest now button or a reserve shares button, depending on the type of offering, and the investor can do it right there on the spot, streamlined. Which is amazing because, as my listeners already know this, but for anybody that's new to the show... In cannabis, we can't use PayPal. We can't use a lot of the credit card processing systems that that most industries don't struggle with. So this is a real challenge, right? Absolutely. And that's the market that we identified, and our solution serves that need. So if somebody wants to make an investment, let's just walk us through the process. I'm an investor, or let's start with the issuer. I'm a company. I'm raising capital. I put the word out on through my advertising channels that I'm raising money. Take it from there. So at that point, when an investor wants, wants to make an investment in that company, they would click on the Invest Now button. The Invest Now button would collect the um, information uh, that we need, their information, their address, their uh, banking information, where they want to make the payment, and then they would hit Submit. At that point, what my system does is we verify that it's a, a legitimate bank account through our verification system, and then we process that transaction. So it works very similar to an ACH type of platform, but the main difference between us and an ACH is we have far more verification, and we deposit those funds the following business day into the issuer's business account. There's not a three- to five-day delay that you would get in your traditional type of ACH platform. We also offer additional options. They can do it online. The issuer can take the information over the phone, you know, they can do it that way. They can even send an email or text messages or text message invoice, and the investor can get uh, their uh, investment that way. So it's very streamlined and everything's done in real time, so it gets it done much quicker. And you mentioned that you do some, some sort of backgrounding or verification that the accounts are legit or there may be suspect. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, what our verification our process does, then is we we look at a couple of things. As soon as that person uh, checks out and he clicks on the authorization, we uh, run it through two very fast databases that we work with. And what those databases do is, first of all, they verify that it's a legitimate USA bank account. So that's the first part. If it's not, well, then they uh, then they kick that out. 
After that's verified, what we do is our database collects positive and negative data on where the funds are coming from, on the bank where the uh, funds are coming from. If there's negative data on that account, we have an alert system which would alert the issuer that we collected bad information. And there's about 200 different types of verifications that are in place. What the issuer can do at that point is they can choose to override it. If they want to take a chance on that, there's a good chance that those funds will not clear. So if they want to get on the phone or if they want to do further verification on their end, they, they can do that or they can just decline it. Mm-hmm. If there's positive information on the account of Streamline, then it goes right through and there's no alerts. It's just deposited the following business day. Okay. Well, we've been speaking with Ed Corona from the FinTech Group and all of his information, FinTech's email address and Ed's email address and, and FinTech's website will be on the MJ Bulls website. But this is a great solution for people that are considering doing crowdfunding or should say cannabis companies that are considering doing crowdfunding because i know a lot of people talk to me about crowdfunding and they don't even know where to begin like they're just they're just like it's it's like voodoo science no one even like everyone's like what what i want to do it but everyone else is doing it but i don't i think that you make this it seems like you make this really simple right well even even if you have the money the whole thing behind crowdfunding right now is marketing and you can, you can spend a lot of money in marketing in uh, marketing that offering, and you'll get it out there. The marketing is out there, and it's available, and you can raise, you, you can raise funds by doing it, but people overlook. They say, well, okay, now that I have this in place, how do I get the money? Do I got to you know, have these people send a wire to me? I mean, initially, they think they could just go to Stripe or something like that and set up a merchant account. <laughs> and when they do that and find out that, they, that they've been declined, they're like, oh, now what? I didn't even think that this was going to happen. I thought this was going to be easy. Well, let me do PayPal. And then they find out that PayPal is not going to be able to do that. So then I'm like, well, where do I go? Yeah. You know, now they start searching and, you know, people find us that way. But mainly they find us through being referred to us through uh, one of the sources. Well, this show should drive some, some more attention to it, more eyes to your site. And is there any, any last words you'd like to leave with our listeners before we sign off? Well, that sums it up pretty well, uh, Dan. And uh, if they have any questions, just visit my website at fintechmerchantaccounts.com. And uh, we could, uh, there's, there's a lot of information there. And I'm always available if they want to reach out to me by phone or schedule a um, phone meeting. I'm happy to do that and answer any other questions that they may have. Mm, sounds good. It's a real, this is a really, I think, necessary solution to another problem that we have in the cannabis industry. So thanks. So, Ed, thanks for being on the show and explaining this to us. You bet, Dan. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Good luck. <laughs>